Uh, shukran, Rana is Stefano Weir Francis. I'm the Chief Administrator for Rowing Administrative Area and currently also confirmed as the Chairperson for the SPLM Rowing Administrative Area. في البداية ورينا أهم المستخرجات اللي أنتم طلعتوا بها لما كان المنتدى الحكام طلع. Uh, we have been here uh, for this National Liberation Council. Uh, I think this is one of the historical moments uh, where the National Liberation Council has endorsed the nomination by the political bureau of our chairman, Comrade Salpa Kirmayadid, as the chairman of the SPLM and as the flag bearer for 2025 elections. And this nomination is based on the fact that uh, Comrade Salpa Kirmayadid has won us this history, has stood with the history of this country, has been the custodian of the history of this country, and hence all of us, the National Liberation Council, the political bureau, the chairpersons of these, the, the states and administrative areas, the SPLM secretaries in unanimously endorse Comrade Salpa Mayadid as our next candidate for the next election. And that is our pride, and all of us, we are determined, and we are sure that uh, the SPLM, uh, with, under the leadership of his Comrade Salpa Mayadid will win the election for this country. We have also uh, endorsed uh, the nominations and appointment of the political bureau members. They expanded National Liberation Council and passed all the basic documents uh, for the, the SPLM. So this has been a, a turning point for us and we see that the new structure of the party has really uh, strengthened SPLM and this has made SPLM to be more greater again. We have been resilient and we believe SPLM this time will be more stronger than before. Okay, can you give us a message for people of South Sudan? My key message to people of South Sudan, the president has really <laughs> asked us to preach peace, to make sure that our peace embrace peace, our people embrace peace. They live in peaceful coexistence. We call on all of us, those who are still holding arms, to lay down arms, give peace a chance so that our people are able to produce, our people are able to trade among themselves, our people are able to have their kids go on to school, our people are able to have access health facilities in any corner of the, of the country. I think this is what I need to tell to the people of Sudan, uh, South Sudan, let's rise and build our country. Uh, this is the country that we have longed for, and this is the country that we are proud, and this is the country that we should build.